So level 1000 was finally achieved by a player this weekend. And while we finally know what lies at the end of that massive journey, it opens up a bit more about the story that I want to discuss with you today about the prestige master grind as a whole ahead of the upcoming season one reloaded update in a few days. So today we're taking a look at what happens when you hit level 1000, the rewards, the implications and more. So drop your thoughts as we go along, drop a like if you enjoyed the video and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, I'd love to have in the community and join us on that journey to 700,000 subscribers that we're on while keeping you up to date with all things Black Ops 6 and other FPS content. Finally, for the next few hours, Gamer Advantage still has some wildly good Cyber Monday deals going on for some great holiday gifts, but more on that a little later. For now, let's take a look at what level 1000 and Black Ops 6 ends up giving you when you finally get there. So a few things to start. First, to get to level 1000, you must first pass through the gauntlet of 10 prestiges with 55 levels each. Enter Master Prestige, then tackle the ranks from 56 to level 1000, where each of those levels after 56 ends up looking like it's about 48,000 XP per level, which means that it's around 45.3 million XP from 56 to level 1000, roughly the length of 38 additional prestiges on top of the 10 you've already conquered, to get there so it's a grind and a half for sure one that i don't think many players have been consciously going for and if they are they're probably not going to get this for quite some time to come the launch window saw players going consciously for it and grinding out racing to be the first two prestige master but besides the guys on the nuke squad i don't think that i've seen anyone else actually keep up playing on those accounts 24 7. to my knowledge they are still the furthest along legitimately in the account journey to level 1000 as of recording this i think it was just under level 900 I last saw. So it's very possible that that's subject to change by the time you see this, where they could be above 900. They could maybe if come back a day or two or three later, they could hit level 1000 legitimately, but they are the first legitimate and furthest account that we've seen to date. And I have to emphasize that since the account owner of the one that did hit level 1000 yesterday has even mentioned it was only possible from AFK and zombies glitches. And I will say it was nice that initially it seemed like he didn't want to show off the rewards because he knew it wasn't legitimately gained but also had a few people that leaked it from who he did show. So cats out of the bag, news sources, big leaker accounts and everything like that have already talked about it. You may have already seen these rewards. So that's why we're touching on it here today in a capacity that still feels weird. But again, I think it's also important to know what's at the end of that road if you consider going on this journey to level 1000. So the rewards leading up to this point, each prestige had milestone rewards that would grant you a few cool things thematic to prior moments in Black Ops history. Prestigious 1 to 10 offered rewards every single step of the way. Surprisingly, after you hit Prestige Master level 90, there's a huge gap window of nothing other than prestige icons getting a few things as you enter prestige master then nothing from levels 91 to 999 as insane as that is so you'd think that the six instant rewards that you get after that long period off are totally killer for those that make it that far right well Probably not. Maybe they are, depending on who you ask, but probably not. The rewards for level 1000 are a brand new exclusive operator named Samuels, the Dark Reflections loading screen, a gobble gum pack that comes with a few gobble gums for zombies, and hilariously, an hour double XP token for rank XP. Yeah, you can't use that. So guessing that just starts your stockpile next year. The Mind Break Emblem, the Silent Whisper Spray, and the Enigma Tech PP919 Blueprint. So yeah, that's what you get for level 1000, and let's start there. Samuels is a cool operator. We've talked about it before in the short form style content. If you're following any of that stuff here that we're posting every day, it's either another really cool yet really odd nod back to the Black Ops 2 and paying homage to prior moments in Black Ops history that it's a random side character as a standalone exclusive operator, but also plenty of people are buying this theory that this is also a small teaser or hint at what's to come for next year's title since most players likely won't be unlocking this until sometime maybe like at the earliest for like large waves of players probably like the spring at some time and then into the summer and then when we start to see more reveals for the upcoming game that's probably when a lot more people are going to end up getting this I mean, after all, it's rumored that next year's storyline will be a game that's a Black Ops 2 sequel with a combination of Black Ops 2 remastered and new multiplayer maps, a campaign that will serve as a direct continuation to the Black Ops 2 story and more. So it could be that. Otherwise, like of all the characters in Black Ops lore and history, why Samuels? Like, that just does seem odd. Also, the description of get a look at the day after tomorrow for the weapon blueprint a lot of either intentionally ambiguous wording or we might have something on our hands here for that theory so 
Depends on what you subscribe to in regards to where those theories break down, but then you also have that Enigma Tech PP919 blueprint, which is a cool looking blueprint emphasis there, and that's something we'll come back to on a weapon that's solid. The PP919 is pretty good in MP, and I'm pretty sure in Warzone as well, but frankly haven't played like any Warzone since the launch of that with Season 1. But it reminds me a bit in look like the Arctic camo mixed with glass shards, similar to the ending of the campaign this year. If you know, you know. But the build of the weapon also has seemingly reminded me a bit of the Razorback from Black Ops 3. Saw some people pointing that out, and I'm like, you know what? That kind of checks out, but I wouldn't say it's directly modeled after that. I just think it kind of looks similar. So I'm not sure if I'm the only one that ends up seeing that, but it's a reactive blueprint that those shards of glass come out the more it kills you get, and then you start to see like this glowing effect from it as well. So as the match rolls on, it will change in visual appearance slightly, but those are the main two rewards that I'd say. Obviously, you have your pick of the litter when it comes to prestige icons. Everything's unlocked at that point. You may or may not still have challenges to complete for like 100%er, but everything is capped at that point in XP yields. So even if you do complete all those challenges, you do Dark Matter or something or Nebula or something that goes to that overall rank, it's not going to give you any more XP. Level 1000 is the highest you will ever obtain unless they change something later on down the line. But for right now, that's the highest you can be. But the rest of those rewards, after again... 900-ish levels of grinding in no rewards intermittently, I was expecting much better, personally speaking. Like we mentioned how the PP919 is a blueprint, I think if you would have had a really awesome looking like mastery camo type of thing as a reward, that would absolutely be worthwhile. That would be something to grind for if you are somebody that loves the look of camos and something that's universally applicable. But it's just weird because like the final rewards here, this final set after not having any real tangible rewards besides rank icons. The first ones you get after hundreds and hundreds of levels is just basically business as usual. Like obviously design wise, it's a little bit different with a reactive blueprint. You get both a blueprint and an operator where you have the sort of on and off effect of either operator or blueprint in prestigious one to 10, but you get an operator, a blueprint, a loading screen, gobble gum pack, emblem, spray, and that's it. It's basically like every other single prestige leading up to Master Prestige. I remember a dev saying, oh yeah, the level 1000 rewards are going to be absolutely worth it when talking to them pre-launch. And I'm really hoping this is like one of those things where not everything is there just yet, because frankly, it's not worth it in my opinion. Personally, I'm hoping that this is a genuine matter of, wow, we did not expect anyone to get to level 1000 this fast. Just kind of how like we saw with Master Prestige. There was no Master Prestige section of your barracks that you could check on your status or upcoming rewards initially after the launch of the game. And those few accounts that did partake in the race when they hit it early, they got nothing really additionally to be unlocked. They just kind of had something that where it said, hey, preview your rewards. It would take you back to the 1 to 55 level progression track, which was inconsequential and didn't mean anything for you at that point because you didn't adhere to 1 to 55 anymore. So that happened with season one's update that brought along with it some additional things to check out. So maybe fingers crossed that this is what happens, that the real master prestige rewards for level 1000 are a bit further, a bit more in depth to the game in a sense, but just another business as usual set is a bit of a bummer. And while it was going to take me forever to get to level 1000 to begin with, like I just crossed master prestige, taken a little bit more leisurely time here with it the last couple of days to weeks finally just crossing prestige master like i'm nowhere near what that's gonna take to get to level 1000 so i'm still a ways off but like it's a bit of a bummer that like if i did want to go for that consciously i know the end result isn't anything crazy now that's like super worthwhile to grind out unless i get there just on a whim like just naturally playing but as a goal i don't know that it necessarily is the best Anyways, that is level 1000 and what happens, what you end up getting, and maybe some implications for future content in late 2025 and what may be a Black Ops 6 or rather Black Ops 2 sequel, but that's what we have. So let me know your thoughts down below before we wrap everything up. It's now officially the holiday season, so if you're looking for either a nice deal for yourself or a stocking stuffer for someone in your life, my friends over at Gamer Advantage have you covered, especially for the next few hours here today. They're rounding out their Black Friday and into Cyber Monday deals where there's 
there's a site-wide discount and code espresso can stack on top of that to give you 45 percent off everything but while each day there's been specific deals leading up to it everything is closing with today's deal that includes a 50 percent off with again a 10 percent stacking boost to 60 percent off the diablo and slave frames so if there's ever a time to check out what i firmly believe are the best blue light glasses on the market now is that time i've said it for years and stick by it they're the most lightweight comfortable and durable frames on the market and at the very least if you want to check out their website see what they're all about highly recommend checking out the link in the description below they can better break down the science and all way better than i could but if you're looking to pick something up for yourself or again perhaps a stocking stuff for gift now's as best a time as any and make sure to use code espresso for that additional 10 percent off a site-wide 35 percent off discount and again perhaps 50 percent off discount on some items so check it out link in the description below but that's where we're gonna wrap it up let me know your thoughts down below what do you guys think here of these rewards think it's worthwhile are you even remotely close to prestige master that it's something that maybe you don't have to think about for quite some time whatever the case drop your thoughts down below but if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe so it's a single thing running all things black ops 6 as we still gear up for season one reloaded a reveal coming likely tomorrow and what may still be coming throughout the week i'd love to have in the community but for now thanks so much for watching. Watching Modest Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.